Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will be discussing about gyrotops and this video would be in continuation with the one which I had earlier shot which was on gyroscopic precession. So I will be attaching its link in the description tab for all of you to check out. So first we will discuss all the parts that are involved and then we will go how and see how we can simulate this. First uh, we are having this uh, rotor and this is the outer ring and the mates that are involved here are two coincident and one is the distance mate so first this coincident mate is between this sketch which i had created on this flat plate uh, this sketch is basically just a point so that that point and the tip of this rotor is mated together and this can move about this in that this orientation then i had used this coincident uh, mate which is so that the axis of this uh, rotor is mated with the axis of this hollow region this one which I am showing by my cursor uh, of the outer ring and finally uh, we need to use this distance mate as well uh, it's basically particularly important because if we don't use it which I'll just suppress it so that I can show you the importance of this so this particular part can move up or down obviously we don't require this and so we go and use the distance mate so uh, the distance mate is actually used between the axis of uh, this cylindrical part and uh, this flat region so that uh, I, I can actually fix the distance between them by a particular amount and this therefore the outer ring won't go in, in the vertically upward direction So after doing this, uh, we'll go we'll go and study about the motion aspects of this. So here, what I've done is just enabled the gravity and uh, use the solid body contact options. You know, you'll have to enable these because if you don't, then under the influence of gravity, it will get an external torque, and this whole object would fall through the flat plate, which is obviously impossible. So you need to enable these as well. So if you just play it from the start, obviously. It's not at all counterintuitive. Uh, the object would fall about the point to which it's pivoted on the flat plate. In the next motion study, what I have done is the fact that I have given it uh, an angular speed. Uh, its direction is basically can be shown from this red arrow, and uh, I, I have basically uh, rotated about thousand RPM. You can type whatever uh, speed you want uh, in this option. So after doing that, I've enabled gravity and used the solid contact options again. And now we'll just play this animation. So what we actually observe here is the fact that first of all, the top does not fall off. And secondly, it starts to rotate about this point as well. So that rotational speed is known as the precession speed. And uh, it is basically generated in such a way so that uh, the gyroscopic couple which is dependent on the moment of inertia of this rotor about its spin axis and uh, the angular its angular speed of rotation and the precession speed uh, that gyroscopic couple would act in opposite direction to the uh, r cross mg torque and therefore it will get negated so the rotor does not fall off and therefore we have this rotor that is rotating in this direction and obviously uh, the gyroscopic couple moments direction can be easily found out by the way that we can do a cross product of the angular speed of this wheel with the precession speed so that will come always in that direction where so as to oppose the r cross mg torque so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like i'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks